your channel worry about that with this cool Power Wheels truck. Woo! I got it, get started! Quick and easy is the only real way to describe the unboxing and assembly here. We've owned a lot of powered ride-on toys in the last few years and this was by far the easiest to go together. It came mostly assembled and my kids were able to put it together with minimal help in about 15 minutes. It comes with all the parts and also a fairly rigid plastic tool to get the job done if you don't have any. As someone who has owned several of these powered ride-on toys, time is the ultimate test. But the quality of this product on the surface has been pretty impressive. We got this truck in red. It was super bright and not a scratch on it, which isn't really common of these mass produced trucks. Manufacturing appears to be a pretty refined process because the fit and finish was really great. Everything had its place that was easily identified and snapped right in with little effort. There was no fabrication needed, so I was really happy with that. This truck has a 12 volt, seven amp hour battery with dual 25 watt motors, has lockable doors and seat belts, which is really cool for strapping in the young kids that you can control with the remote. But we'll get to that in just a second. It has LED lights that are pretty bright and a spring suspension system on the rear that actually functioned pretty well. This becomes really important when talking about maintaining traction on uneven surfaces a huge issue on older model ride-ons that we had in the past. The wheels appear to be pretty heavy duty, and since these trucks are on the wheels 100% of their lifetime with a load, that's really important. They didn't feel thin, although they are fairly narrow. They do have a raised center section with alternating grooves that are the key to keeping the truck moving and getting longevity out of the ride. The charger's fairly basic, but it does have an LED light on the base that's red when the battery's low or when charging, and green when fully charged. And if you've ever had to play the charge level guessing game on an electronic toy, you really appreciate this feature as minor as it may seem. I saw some complaints in the reviews about the sizing being misleading, but if you do your due diligence, all the specs for the truck are right on the webpage, so you have to be realistic with the expectation. This is a fairly small one-seater truck but the single seat is really spacious. Spec sheet says it's made for kids 30 to 46 inches tall, so just be aware of that more so than the weight capacity. One of the coolest features of the newer ride-on toys is the remote driving capability. Now this isn't something that we would typically use based on Mason's driving skill, but the remote functions exactly as it's designed. It has two driving modes on the truck, forward and reverse, and three speeds, low, normal, and high. It's also really important to note that the remote will override the actions of the driver. That's a super cool feature if you have a really young kid that isn't quite there yet. We charged the truck for about 10 hours when we finally got the green light on the charger prior to the first ride, which was right in between the recommended 8 to 12 hour charge window. The spec sheet provides a 50 to 60 minute ride time on full charge, but that is always one of those things that's really dependent on the size of the kid driving it. The recommended weight range for this truck is 66 to 110 pounds, and Mason's about 55 pounds. With that, we were able to get just under 50 minutes to exhaust the battery. In my mind, that's pretty good, and complaining about a minute or two of ride time would be splitting hairs. Overall, we've been really happy with this truck and the brand Medico so far. Is it fast? No, about two to three miles per hour at best. But if you're looking for something fast, a powered ride-on probably isn't the way to go anyways. That is, unless you put a 20 volt drill battery, which is totally doable. We're gonna test it out on low first. Oh, dang, dude. Low is already faster than high was with a stock battery. Look how good this truck is towing this thing now. I mean, he is moving. 
And if you want to see more on that, we have a full video on that also. We hope you enjoyed this review and it makes your buying decision a little bit easier. For a very inexpensive powered ride-on, our initial impression is that it's really good. We have the link in the description for this exact truck. And be sure to subscribe for all of our future content. Again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.